How's it going, everybody? Um, I got another live showdown battle for y'all today. Now, <clears throat> uh, some of you might actually know the team that I'm using. Uh, this is actually an RMT team. The uh, reason that I'm using this team is because I thought it would be very fun. I mean, it's got Roserade, it's got Jellicent, and it's got uh, Hippodon and Latios, and Stoutland. Then it just has Scarf. But yeah, th th this RMT looks really fun, and normally I don't use RMTs, but this one really caught my eye, so I really hope you guys don't... Actually, I don't even care if you guys don't mind. Just watch the video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, looking at those on my opponent's side of the field, um, I guess Landorus, actually Scizor might be a problem, also that Heatran, he might predict me to lead off with Hippowdon, so he might lead off with Celebi, um, so I could lead off with my Roserade, because I don't think Celebi's tend to carry Psychic, so I think Roserade should be my best lead, not to mention that I can get up a layer of Toxic Spikes to deal with the Keldeo and Gastrodon, as he leads off with the Landorus, um, I think I can take an Earth Power just because it's neutral and I mean I am a Roserade and after I get up a layer of Toxic Spikes I should be able to deal with Keldeo so I think I'm just gonna stay in and get up a layer of Toxic Spikes and uh, then again he could predict me to want to switch on to like my Latios or my Skarmory so oh he has a Psychic which actually I've seen Psychic on Landorus which I guess is only there probably for stuff like uh, Toxic Croak which I guess wouldn't be uh, too bad but after that one layer of Spikes a uh, Toxic Spike sorry um, I should have an easier time dealing with this team I kind of want to switch into Latios, but I don't know if he's going to be Life Orb or maybe Choice. Uh, then again, I could switch into Hippowdon, but if he is Earth Power, well, but if he does Earth Power, that's going to do a lot of damage to me. Um, I think I think Skarmory should be my best switch in right now, because I think I resist Psychic, and he does just go for the Earth Power, okay, that's good for me, which means I know now that he is the uh, Sheer Force set with Life Orb, and he's not Choice in any sort of way. Um, after facing Javon, I'm kind of fearing the fact that he could have the Hidden Power Fire, so I kind of just want to roost up to scout out for it, but... What can he switch on the Marsh Garmory? Well, he can switch in Heatran, I suppose. Um, which wouldn't be affected by Toxic Spikes. I could make a very risky switch into my Hippowdon. And scout out for the Hidden Power Fire. Or I could just, you know, roost. Uh, I, I think I'm going to double out to Hippowdon. As he stays in and goes for the Focus Blast. Okay, I completely forgot that that thing can learn Focus Blast. Uh, that was really stupid of me. Um, I kind of just want to get on myself rocks at this point. Actually, no, because I need a whirlwind amount. What am I talking about? This thing's a threat. It's a problem. See, look at that. 50%, man. Wow, god damn it. Show it down. Oh, why do you do this to me? <laughs> I'm just gonna switch to my Latios. Because I should have used for Hippodon, and Latios should basically take this thing on one on one and fucking A! Holy sh. Damn. Okay, that did way too much damage. But I can just stay in and just roost up off the damage, unless he crits me, which hopefully doesn't happen. Um, I have nothing to worry about it. Not to mention that I am faster than it, so I can recover up or roost up before he uh, is able to take me out, as he's just going to go for another one. Why does this happen to me? It's okay. It's okay. I can just roost up again. And he should and he still shouldn't bring me down to a point where the uh, sandstorm will finish me off. So I'm I'm still in a good spot right now. Um he could switch into the Heatran, so I don't know why he's not doing that. And he brings in the scissor. Crap, now he could potentially pursue trap me. Um I think I can take a bullet punch because the pursuit is because the switch out and the pursuit is way too obvious so yeah I'm gonna predict him to over predict and no it survived damn it ah oh, damn it I, I honestly thought that would take it out fuck that means Landers has become an even bigger problem oh crap and of course he just brings it back in uh, I could bring in actually yeah my style line should be able to, to possibly knock it out with the return um, or do I want to pursue honestly no I can't mess around with this thing I have to return I don't care if he switches in Heatran I have to get rid of this lander this thing is a giant problem and yes <laughs> thank you Ooh, good yes thank you Landorus out of here I guess maybe he forgot that Statland had Stand Rush, or maybe he thought I would pursue him because the switch out was kind of obvious. So I guess he in return thought that 
I would return, I mean, I would pursue to pursue trap him, which, if that was the case, then he made a good play by staying in, not wanting to get pursuit trapped, and I guess if I did go for pursuit, obviously he would have been able to take me out, but if he just left it in, forgetting that Stoutland got sand rush, and that's a little bit dumb. But yeah, um, he's gonna bring in the Celebi. Uh, again, damn it, see, Latias would have definitely helped me out against the Celebi. Um, I know Return's not gonna take it out, and I really have no switch into this. Uh, actually, he might just go for the Giga Drain, so I can switch into my no, Roserade. And yes, and another crit! Oh my lord, they did a whole 10%! <laughs> it's okay, it's not that big of a deal. Actually, now I could go for the Hidden Power Fire, possibly. Um, maybe? Or maybe he'll U-turn out, and I could Sleep Out or something. No, I'll just go for the safe. Oh, he does have Psychic, okay, I was not expecting that. But I think this should just give me a free switch back into my Statland, yes. Which... I kind of want to go for the pursuit, but I don't know if he's going to predict that like he did with the Landorus. I think I'm going to pursuit. <sighs> and he stays in, just scouting out to see what I wanted to do. Alright, that was a good play on his part. Um, I know he's just going to go for the possible Psychic now, so I have to switch out. And I should have just crunched, damn it. Uh, judging from the damage, he might be physically defensive, so I can keep that in mind. As he just goes for the Giga Drain, alright, that's fine by me, no big deal. Because now I definitely uh, force him out with the Brave Bird. And I know he's probably going to want to bring in the Heatran, so I could just go for the Whirlwind. Then again, he could just fodder off his Scizor. Or I could double out, sorry, I could double out to my Hip Out on. Yeah, I'm going to do that. If he does want to bring in the Heatran on my Skarmory, because that is his best switch in, unless he stays in and goes for the... Another crit! Can we please stop? Thank you. Damn. Now he's going to bring in the Keldeo, which I have Jellison for, so I really am not wor worried about it. And if he does bring in Gastrodon, I can just go for the Slack Off, which will be really beneficial to me. And yeah. Um, okay, he brings in the Gastrodon. That's fine by me. I mean, I got a Toxic, so that's really good. Although I lost the Grass move, so it's going to be a little harder to take down. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. And I don't think he's going to go for the Skull, because, I mean, I have Jellison, so he might just go for the Toxic, which, uh, it's going to be really annoying, but honestly, I can't do much about it. I need to keep my Hip on around. Oh, he missed! Hey, that's, uh, it's perfectly fine by me. Okay, I think Earthquake should do a good amount of damage. Hopefully, I'll be able to 2 him if he does want to go for another Toxic, and, damn it, don't, don't, don't you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I was really worried there for a second. Um, I know he's gonna go for the recover, but maybe if I get like max damage. Oh, damn it! Oh. <sighs> that's actually it's <laughs> actually really frustrating. Um, it's fine. Um, I think he's gonna want to go for another one, so I'm just gonna switch to my Skarmory because I need to start getting up my spikes to wear down his um Keldeo and Heatran and Celebi. So. That's what I'm going to try to do as he just does go for another cover. That's fine, because with um, Scizor uh, dying off to rocks... Actually, no, I would need my Skarmory for the Celebi. Crap, why did I do this? Actually, I could just... Actually, yeah, I can just bait the Scald and switch into my Jellison. If he predicts this, this man is powerful beyond all belief, because... The fact that I want to stay in and try to get up spikes is very, very... Obvious. And yes, he just did go for the safe Scald. It's really good. Alright. Now I know he more than likely will be tempted to want to go for the um, for the uh, Toxic, so I'm going to go straight for the Taunt. Hopefully he doesn't predict this and switch into the Celebi. Um, please just stay in, stay in, come on, go for the Toxic, go for the Toxic, and yes, you got predicted, buddy. <laughs> Alright, um, now I know he's just going to stay in and probably scout out to see what I want to do and I kind of don't want to go straight for the shadow ball and then I'll be able to see if he has ice beam or earth power as his other offensive move because obviously he's not going to go for the scald um I think I should just still go for the shadow ball because maybe there's a chance he'll want to switch into the Celebi and yes get destroyed by a shadow ball thank you oh god that did not do as much as I hoped it would okay all right uh, it's okay it's okay it's okay we're fine we're fine we're doing fine it's all right the recover is very obvious. I can bring in Skarmory now. And hopefully get up a layer of spikes. 
because as I mentioned, I need to get up those hazards. Because the recover is honestly way too obvious. And yeah, judging for how much damage the Shadow Ball did, which was 38%, obviously I wouldn't knock him down to a point where he would die off to the uh, residual damage from Toxic and Sand. So on it, the best play that I could have done was switched into my Skarmory. That way I can just start getting up my spikes. And I don't, obviously he doesn't, yeah, I don't think he does have the Hidden Power Fire because Recover, U-Turn, Psychic, and Giga Drain, which means I don't really have to worry anything about this because my Skarmory basically takes it one-on-one. -on -one. So now that I'm trying to get up spikes, he might want to switch into the Heatran, so I'm going to go for the Whirlwind. And even if he does go for the U-Turn, I think it does like leftovers damage, so I don't have to worry about my starter being broken. And then I can hopefully whirlwind him out to like the Scizor or back into the Celebi to knock out the Scizor or get even more residual damage on the Celebi. And look at that, man. <laughs> Only 2%. Holy crap, Skarmory. Uh, then again, he obviously is a minus attack in nature, so I really shouldn't be surprised by how much damage the U-Turn did as he actually brings in the Keldeo. All right, then. Well... Actually, yeah, that really isn't a bad play either, just because, I mean, obviously I was trying to stack up spikes, and he saw this as a perfect opportunity to bring it in. But then again, unless he predicted my Jellison switch in and went for the Hidden Power Ghost, I don't think there really is anything Keldeo can do to me. So now that I went for the Whirlwind, he might um, expect me to go for it again. So I'm just going to get up a layer of spikes. And thankfully, he doesn't have a Rapid Spinner on his team. And yeah, he just went for the Recover. All right, that's good. Okay, now I can either just go for the Brave Bird or go for the Whirlwind again. I kind of just want to go for the Whirlwind. Because even if he Psychics or Giga Drains, I resist both of those. And, uh, yeah, I think just Whirlwind is my is honestly my best play to go for. Let's um, see how long this is. Oh, wow, 12 minutes. I apologize, guys. Um, Alright, and he's going to U-turn out to the Heatran, which is really good. Because look at all that residual damage. Yes, that's how you do it, guys. Alright. And I whirlwind him out into the Gastrodon, and I kind of just want to stay in and go for the Brave Bird. But again, I need, need, need this Skarmory for that damn Celebi, and I don't want him to Toxic me, predicting my Jellicent switch in. Ah, uh, I know Brave... Do I really need my Statland? I mean... I guess Statland could clean up late game, and if I really want to make a risky play, I could just leave in Skarmory. Alright. <laughs> I pray to base god. Don't burn me. Come on, base god. You're on my side, right? Come on, come on, come on. Don't you. Don't you. Yes! Woohoo! Yes! Alright, finally, this thing is dead. Get out of my sight! Yes! Gastrodon, one more nuisance is out of the way. Thank you. That's one less thing I have to worry about. If he would just hurry up and make a play. I apologize that this thing is like going so long. As you can see, this is a pretty defensive team, but honestly, it, it really is a lot of fun. And um, I hope that you guys who are still sticking with me this far into the video, hopefully y'all are enjoying it so far. It's only been like 28 turns, but it's like 13 minute. It's a 13 minute video already. So how are you guys doing? Um, I'm doing fine. It's currently a night. And all right, he's going to bring in the Keldeo. Um, I, I need to keep Celebi. I need, not Celebi, I need to keep Skarmory. Uh, okay, let's look at it this way. If he goes for Hidden Power Ghost, I can then switch it to my Stalland. Uh, well, yeah, but if I lose my Cel my Jellicent, then... Um, hmm. Well, Hippowdon does deal with Heatran, I suppose. So I guess, it, yeah, I think just fought on off my Jellicent is the better play to go for right now. As he goes with Hidden Power Ice, alright. Um, I'm not too sure what he was predicting. And he didn't take Life Orb damage, I believe. So yeah, this thing is practically dead. Um, I can just go for the Recover, honestly. And I don't think he's going to want to bring in Celebi because, I mean, I showed him Shadow Ball. But still, just Shadow Ball. The offensive play is the better play in this situation. Not to mention that if he does want to bring in the Heatran, which I highly doubt, I can still get off a bit of damage on that. And hey, it shouldn't be uh, too bad. Unless he's like expert belted and that goes... Actually, no. Well, he has Hidden Power Ice. Why would he have Hidden Power Ghost as well? Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay, anyways, ignore my stupidity. <laughs> um, what are you doing, buddy? Make a move, sir. It's actually it's a pretty fun game. I'm having I'm having a good time. He's making a lot of over predictions though. Or at least I hope they're over predictions. 
Like, the Hidden Power Ice. I mean, I can see why he wouldn't want to go for the Surf or the Hydro Pump, because obviously Jellicent. So I guess maybe he thought I would switch into Stoutland, expecting Hidden Power Ghost, which in that case isn't a bad play. Um, but I now know that he can literally not touch this Jellicent. And um, he's going to switch into the, to the Scissor, just got to see what I want to do. Um... He could bring in the Celebi, I suppose. But then I can just always just switch into Skarmory. And then if he just brings in Keldeo to die off to the hazards. And if he brings in Heatran, I mean, I have a Powdown. So yeah, at this point, the battle is basically mine. So I just want to see what he wants to do. As he does bring in the Celebi. Honestly, I don't really need my Jellicent. So I can just leave it in for fodder if I really wanted to. But no... Because I think that Keldeo does live hazards. So obviously I can't stay in. And... Hmm, maybe if I bring in my Stoutland, I could just like crunch Celebi. Because I showed him Pursuit. I don't think he's going to be expecting crunch. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Alright. And then I can hopefully just get rid of the Celebi. Then deal with Keldeo and Heatran accordingly. As he, yeah, as he does just go for the Giga Drain. Thanks to the Sandstorm, uh, his leftovers are getting nullified. And now I'm going to go for the crunch because I know he's going to be expecting the pursuit and stay in. So that's why I'm going to smash him with the crunch. Yes, Adamant Choice Banded and... Oh my lord, it lived! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> why? Oh. Well, he did just go for the recover because he, he just told me in the chat, good game. So I guess, well, yeah, at this point he knows that the battle is basically mine. And I'm just going to knock it out with one more crunch. Although now he can bring in the um, Heatran or the Keldeo, obviously. I think he more than likely is going to want to bring in Heatran. Uh, then again, the hazards and rocks. Oh, spikes and rocks, sorry. Which are hazards, are just really going to rack up on it. So it really doesn't matter what he wants to do. And honestly, I can just leave in my Stoutland for fodder if I really wanted to. Because yeah, that'll give me a free switch into my Hippowdon, which is something I really need right now. Or actually, it could fodder off Skarmory. No, then again, there's a chance Keldeo could be scarfed, I suppose. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay in, just get off some damage with my crunch. And 17%, not bad. As he's just going to knock me out with the Lava Plume, I can now get the free switch into my Hippowdon. Click Earthquake and watch something on his team die, because as long as he doesn't crit me, I can take a hit. Then again, I'm especially defensive, and that more than likely is especially defensive trend, so I doubt even if he did crit me and burn me, that this Heatran would live because I should still be able to knock it out even though I'll be at minus two if he does burn me and he burns me but hey it's fine and then Kodeo is his last and I can just leave in a pout on for fodder then get the free switch into my Jellicent and that will be the 2-0 victory in my favor so yeah I'm sorry that this um, showdown live battle was a bit lengthy and I want you guys to leave a comment down below if you like longer showdown live battles or if you don't, then I'll make sure to just use teams that aren't stall based. Uh, that way you guys can just get like a quick live battle and then just move on with your day because this, this one's going to be like almost 19 minutes. But yeah, um, I definitely hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, um, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, you know what to do. Um, enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, this guy was actually not that low on the ladder. He had a pretty good score. I'm um, sorry. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, guys, I apologize. I'm just rambling. Um, see, this is why doing live stuff kind of like makes me nervous because i don't i don't know i i'll explain it in another video i apologize uh, later guys <laughs> enjoy the rest of your night enjoy the rest of your day and i'm out of here out of here <laughs> later